This is my first time trying this. Let's see if it works. I want to make sure you see that we're using Higgins ink. You could use other inks too. Another favorite is Winsor Newton. And we're starting out with pen and ink. And I'm just going to create some lines and shapes. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I find a lot of inspiration in nature. And I wonder where you find your inspiration. Today I saw a particularly beautiful ice patch on the river that I put printed on Facebook and um, kind of looked something like that but I'm just going to keep playing because really what I'm looking to do here is just create some shapes so that we can do a little bit of brush and ink in them. This is my first time trying to like do this talking thing as I work. Not sure that that's going to be something I'm terribly fond of or good at, but I'm going to try it a little bit for you. I'm going to keep that line going. There's a little dog right here who wants to get pet. Well, moment for dog petting. Okay, so basically I've created some shapes um, with line and um, I actually only ended up using my pointed nib um, and I can come back to that if I want. So let's see. I want to show you how to uh, use the brush and ink. I'm going to first just dip directly into the ink because I want to show you how beautifully dark it can be. So I'm using a watercolor brush and I'm using the same Higgins ink that I showed you in the beginning. And I'm just going to kind of play with the line a little bit. As you could see, I kind of missed a little and that's the beauty of art, like, oh, well, wait a second, that might be kind of nice. I might like that, so I'm going to just leave it there for now, and I might come back to it. So I'm just playing with line and shape, making some of my lines a little bit thinner. Ooh, look what happened there. I really like that. I really like the way that looks. Now what that really is, is kind of my ink is drying out. Often I work with dry brush, which is basically what that is. It's a brush that has just a little bit of ink on it. And usually I do it purposely. Right now it just kind of happened as it's running out. So I am just at this point dipping my brush directly into the ink and I can do that because it's not watered down. My brush doesn't have any water on it. Once I get some water on my brush I'm not going to want to dip it into the ink bottle anymore because it will um, uh, water down the ink. I, I don't think I can think and do art at this and talk at the same time. So um, we all have our challenges. This is going to be one of mine. But I'm just playing. I don't really have any idea yet what's going to happen here. I'm, I might have an idea at some point, <laughs> or I might not. And I might like this piece, and I might throw it in the garbage. Or I might not like it and sometimes that's the best time to keep playing because you really have nothing to lose. So that's the way I work. Some people work much more planned out and sometimes I do too. But in this case 
I'm just playing. There's something about the fluidity of ink that, oh, look at that little triangle. I think I'm going to leave that there. So I'm kind of trying a little bit to be careful with my fingers that I don't uh, spread the ink. And I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Now, why do I love the Higgins ink and the Winsor Newton? They are both, and there are other kinds also, but they are both um, India ink. And so they're waterproof inks so that when I go to my next step, which is to use a wash, playing with wash, um, what's going to happen is the ink that's already down here in my pen and in my brush are not going to move. So that's what I want for this, but sometimes you might want your ink to move and that's when you would use an ink that's not waterproof. Also what I like about those ink, these inks is that they are light fast, which means that they will um, stay, this, they won't fade when over time when the light hits them. You should always keep your work away from direct sunlight, but some, let's see, I'm thinking, some um, kinds of inks and some kinds of, this is the same with watercolors or acrylics they come in different qualities and you want your work to be able to stay over time like if you ever think about the beautiful little things that your children have made for you and there's like slowly if your kids are older like mine are they're slowly and sadly fading away that's because they were using markers very often that aren't light fast the pencil drawings they made for me and the water and the uh, colored pencil drawings still look good, but the ones that are made with those junky old markers are no good. So that's why we want to use light fast materials and on acid free paper because it's the same thing. It's going to take better care of your work for you. So these are just shapes I'm playing with. No idea really what I'm doing, but I can, I'm putting down my brush right now and I'm dipping into my ink and I'm just going to kind of like play a little bit more. Because, why? Because I can't help myself, I love to. That was unexpected. I didn't know that that I was going to do that, but that's kind of part of the beauty of the whole thing. I really like the way this thin line is looking against these thicker lines. I think it's making it really interesting. So I'm kind of getting a big kick out of this and I'm trying to, in a moment, turn off the camera so that I can come back and play around a little bit with some washes for you. 